So there is one month left of 2021. And basically today I'm gonna to go through some things with you that can help you budget your time so you can get ahead of your goals that you may be wanting to create for 2022. Now, if you're like me, then most of your goals for 2022 will be very similar to the ones that you may have made in 2021. Perhaps there may be a few tweaks here and there. So obviously at this time of year, and I spoke about this in a previous video that I made about um, you know getting ahead on your goals for 2022 because 2021 is almost over. You know, there's still time to make um, a chunk in those goals that you may have made at the beginning of the year. So if you've procrastinated a lot, which you know I've definitely done sometimes throughout the year, if you've um, not got ahead of your goals, if you haven't achieved what you what you wanted to have achieved this year, then um, I can completely understand you because I've definitely not achieved what I wanted to do uh, this year. I've achieved a lot, but not as much as what I would like to have achieved. So I completely understand if you are, you know, feeling a bit disheartened by the fact that you haven't been able to do what you wanted to do, that you haven't completed the goals that you wanted to complete. Um, there is a quote that I really like by Tony Robbins, and he says that, you know, people tend to overestimate what they can do in a year and underestimate what they can do in 10 years. And I believe I used that quote in that previous video as well. And basically what this means is that, you know, sometimes we make really big grand goals for the year and basically they're kind of unachievable. So when the year kind of draws to a close, you kind of feel a little bit disencouraged because you wasn't able to achieve these big grand goals and dreams that you uh, planned for yourself at the beginning of the year. So today we're gonna to be talking about time budgeting and you know, using basically the last month of 2021 to really help you get ahead of on your goals and perhaps you know maybe even complete a few of those goals that you may have had at the beginning of the year and you haven't quite done yet. So I'm not going to tell you that you can have amazing results after this video because obviously we only do have a month left, but you definitely can, you know, um, create a dent in some of those goals that you may have wanted to achieve but haven't quite got there yet. So time budgeting is really important and the reason why it is is because Sometimes just doing a little bit of something every day can amount to a lot over time, especially over a month's period. Now, it might not be an astronomical um, success, it might not be an astronomical dent that you create, but it still will be better than nothing. So one of the things that I personally do um, when it comes to my own business and what I do, because I do have a second channel which is all about uh, dating and relationships, which has a roughly around 6,000 subscribers. Um, and on that channel, I, you know, create daily videos. And it's true that not all of those videos have been successful, but um, I have still, but I have kept up with that quite a lot, apart from the last month where I've actually had quite bad health. But, you know, throughout most of the year of 2021, I did daily videos and there was not that many days that I actually missed until like the last couple of weeks, you know, sod's law, I'm talking about time management, I'm talking about these kinds of habits, and yet there's been a part of my life where I was unable to actually do those things. Um, but throughout most of the year, that's something that I definitely did do. Another habit that I took on was I woke up an hour an hour early um, every day to read. That was something that I decided that I wanted to do. And that was something that I actually started doing at the end of 2020, getting up an hour earlier to read. And now I've read over 50 plus books because of just doing that one new habit, just budgeting my time a little bit more and waking up that hour early uh, to actually read more. Um, and that's that's made me over time read over 50 books. So another thing as well that I do is I write in the mornings, either I'm writing an article for my website or I am uh, writing and uh, a, a PDF that I'm creating a dating manual for my dating business um, and relationship business, my coaching there. Um, and you know, I write for 30 minutes every day you know it doesn't matter if those 30 minutes you know that within that, that 30 minutes the writing is good or whether it's bad it doesn't matter or I, I what I do is I just write for 30 minutes and sometimes you know you have to kind of do that you kind of have to like uh, make compartments in your day where you do these kinds of things um, because what happens usually at the beginning of the year and we all have these new year's resolutions is we usually take on things too much like we have too many big goals that we're trying to do every single day like we have all these big tasks so it could be like I'm going to exercise for an hour a day you know a lot of people have you know exercise goals in in new years and they're unable to keep up with it basically because 
they were unable to um, they got overwhelmed by it basically they, because the goal was too big like if you've never exercised for an hour consistently before it's very unlikely that you're going to keep up with it because you're going to get overwhelmed especially if you know that you've tried to do things like that in the past but you haven't been able to keep up with it but there is a way that you can keep up with it and that is by starting small by budgeting your time a little bit so it might be you know like okay I'm just going to exercise every day for 15 minutes now 15 minutes may not sound like a lot but it is manageable and it is something that you can stick with right and after that becomes easy and effortless so let's say you've done it for a month then you can up the time to like 20 minutes of exercise every day. Um, So you wanna be budgeting your time like that and kind of thinking of it in that kind of way because you know, sometimes we do have to treat ourselves like children. Like, okay, I'm gonna do 10 minutes of this, I'm gonna do 15 minutes of that, and I'm gonna do half an hour of this, uh, and I'm gonna treat it like that. And by the end of it, you feel really good. You feel really good when you've, you know, done everything on your to-do list and you've done everything towards your goals. And the reason why it's good is that if you, even if you just do a little bit, that's still better than nothing, right? So let's say you have a website and you write blog posts, you know, just write for, you know, just try and do like, let's say like 200 words a day for that article. You know, 200 words may not sound like a lot. If you do 200 words over the course of five days, like from Monday to Friday, then that equals to a thousand words. And that a thousand words is enough for a blog post. So, you know, um, you know, just doing looking at things like that can really, really help you um, start getting consistent and start, you know, making progress towards your goals. So obviously, I don't know what your goals are. So if if you'd like to, then you can leave down in the comments what your goals are. And I would also really appreciate it if you could subscribe to this channel and also leave a like on this video as well. Um, but if you just make, I don't know what your goals are. So, you know, obviously it depends on what you want to do, but you know, if you are someone who wants to write a book, if you're someone that writes blog, blog posts, if you're someone that uploads YouTube videos, you know, just start small, just start in a way that is manageable because if you've had these big goals and dreams that you wasn't able to achieve over the year, then it could be the case that you just had too much of a bigger goal and you've been working really hard at all of these things. Or it could be that you got overwhelmed and you procrastinated and there might have been weeks and months that went by where you didn't work on any of these things at all. And that might be because you overwhelmed yourself and you should have really started small and then worked your way up as opposed to trying to basically eat the whole elephant you know, with one bite as opposed to eating the elephant one bite at a time. So if you wanted to write a book this year, but you never got around to writing it, or you only wrote the first chapter, then start by just, you know, writing, like, like I said, like maybe 200 words a day, or it could be you just write for 30 minutes a day, like what I I do, like no matter what I do, I write 30 minutes a day. So, um, you know, budgeting your time like that can really, really help you make progress, Um, especially if you have become overwhelmed in the past there is still a month left of 2021 and for the next few weeks perhaps the only thing that you can do is write 200 words a day perhaps the only thing you can do is work out for 15 minutes a day but that still is going to start getting you into the habit and when 2022 comes along you would already be you know well on your way basically because you've already started and you've started as you have meant to go on and those kinds of things will really help because you know guess what it's you know sometimes goals and achieving things takes a long time and if you're an overachiever like what I am you know I tend to be quite impatient and I want things now like I don't want to wait you know I want to be able to write a whole book in a day or do something crazy like that or get a million subscribers on my YouTube channel within a, within the first week or something like that you know I have all these kinds of things that I want now but I know that these things do take time. Like the quote I said by Tony Robbins, you know, people usually overestimate what they can do in a year, but underestimate what they can do in 10 years. So just start with those small little habits that can help you remain consistent. And then when you start becoming more consistent, then you can try and stretch out of your comfort zone and start doing more things. But start, if you've procrastinated a lot this year, by doing things that are manageable. Let's take the example of a student who is writing an essay. Now, instead of, you know, um, writing the whole thing perfectly the first time, uh, you know, the best thing for them to do probably, in my opinion, is to write a sloppy copy first. Like do just like a draft 
of the essay that you're going to write. Just do, um, you know, uh, if like it could be for a blog post or for a book as well. You know, if you're trying to write a whole book, then, you know, just do a sloppy first draft. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just get kind of like the skeleton, shall we say, of what's supposed to be in the book and then build upon that as opposed to um, trying to write the whole thing perfect the first time. You know, do a sloppy copy. And it might be the case that you do a sloppy copy for everything to begin with. You could do a sloppy copy version of a workout. It could be like just you walking around your living room. You know, that could be your first workout that you do for 15 minutes. You know, but the important thing is, is that you're starting to do it. You're starting to get into the habit. Um, and even if it is small baby steps, because, you know, we, sometimes we do, like I said, have to treat ourselves like children and kind of discipline ourselves to do little things first before we move on to the bigger things. And that will help you budget your time. Um, it will help you get ahead. It will help you uh, feel a lot more accomplished because, you know, a lot of people won't even consider doing 15 minutes of something or 200 words of an essay or a book or a blog post. Um, so just starting by doing those small manageable things can really, really help. Um, and we've all got to start somewhere, right? So you can definitely get ahead now. And when 2022 does arrive, you will already be installed with some of these new really good habits. So make a plan, you know, for like next week, shall we say, you know, what can you do on Monday through Friday that can help you get on towards those goals? You know, what are some things that you can do? Now, it might be the case that you do write 200 words a day of something. It could be that you, um, you know, create your first YouTube video, but you're only using your phone camera or something like that, because not everyone can afford, you know, expensive equipment. So it could be, you know, making that kind of video. It could be um, making a bad first draft of an essay. So what is it for you? What is something that you can do next week to help you move towards your goals and the things that you wanted to achieve? Uh, or it could be making a start on the goals that you want to achieve in 2022 because you might have different goals now. So at the beginning of 2021, you may have had a bunch of goals, but you no longer want to do those things anymore. So, you know, make your New Year's resolutions now. What do you want to achieve in 2022 and start getting ahead of it in this month of December when it starts um, and doing those kinds of things. And that should really, really benefit you and it should really, really help you. Thank you so much for watching and I shall talk to you guys again very soon. Goodbye.